back up. What's up guys, this is Tyler with Board Insiders. I'm standing here at the SIA 2014 on snow demo. This year, the first board I took out was the 2014-15 Ride Buck Up. The reason I took it out is because I took out the last year's version of the board and I just wanted to see if it was still just as badass. And you still gotta buck up or shut the fuck up. This time I rode the 158. It's 158 centimeters of badass, good times living, it says right on the top sheet. And, uh, that's really what we got out of it. This board is for the serious rider. Tons of snap, tons of energy. So when you put energy into this board, you get that energy back out of the board. And it's almost a little intimidating. I was just riding the groomers, dug into a tow carve really hard, saw something I wanted to pop off of. And when the board released, I ended up going a couple feet higher than I thought. And uh, let's just say I didn't land very well. That was my fault though, because I wasn't expecting so much power. I also took out Ride's bindings. I rode the Ride, Actually, these are the Ride Rodeos, I believe. It's a collaboration they did with Accomplice Company. So, uh, pretty awesome binding. This is like their uh, little bit versatile, medium flex, super freestyle, agile binding. Uh, the Ride Buck Up, everything that it's always been, super badass, made for that baller rider. The guy who wants to get out there and get things done with no excuses, except for tearing shit up. It's the Ride Buck Up. <laughs> For the latest snowboard reviews, check out BoardInsiders.com.